I'll tell you this, the next one, Isaiah Jackson, he is so athletic. I, I don't know if he will be there at either of the Knicks picks. Um, he's kind of got a, a range, I'd say anywhere from, you know, back end of the lottery to maybe early 20s. Um, there are concerns with his offense. You know, he's really raw. The footwork isn't great. He's not really a shooter by any means. But again, his athleticism and length are just ridiculous. He's, a, he's just a true leaper, explosive off the floor, really, really, really quickly. Um, and I think he's a guy, if you can get your hands on him, you can have a defensive anchor uh, with a little more muscle. He can own the paint. And uh, I think he's a guy that if he's there 19 or 21, I would expect the Knicks to probably take him. Uh, the question will be if he's there because there are some rebuilding teams who are going to need young guys at the back of the lottery in the mid first round that I would imagine are also looking at Jackson a lot. Interesting. Yeah, OKC could be one of them. You know, OKC with uh, a ton of picks in that first round. Isaiah Jackson could definitely be an option, but also an option for the Knicks because in in, in addition to needing a point guard and, and just some scoring at the wing, um, I think they could use some depth at the back of five. I, I don't see them investing in Nerlens Noel to come to return. Could be wrong, but I just don't see them allocating uh, assets or salary cap to to a backup center. And we just don't know what Mitchell Robinson's future holds as a as a soon to be free agent and also just durability. I just think they they need some additional front court depth. Uh, they were a bit old in in that department last year. No no you know don't no disrespect to Taj. He gave us his, his all, but I think they could use some some youth and some more depth. So I think if if the Knicks want Jackson. I don't think he's going to be there at 19. They're going to have to move both of those picks and try to go get, or they're going to have to try to go get that New Orleans pick uh, or the San Antonio pick or the Golden State pick, 10, 12, 14. I think if you want Jackson, you're going to have to move both and go get him there. So you, so you think Jackson could be a hot commodity if he's there around 19 and 21 for them as well? I do. It's crazy. If you look at the next contracts next year, I mean, there's, there's really not a whole lot that's yeah. like solidified under contract. Um, it looks like, I mean, you got Barrett, Toppin, Knox, Robinson, Quickly, and it looks like uh, Luca and Randall, yeah. I mean, are, are options, uh, but I believe. I mean, that that's pretty much it. And again, as far as big men go, I think a center position will need to be addressed. What's, what's interesting is if Jackson and Alperin Sengun are off the board, I don't know if there's a big uh, at 19 or 21 that you would reach for at that point. I think Dayron Sharp from North Carolina could be in play, uh, but I really don't know. I think those are the two bigs that if you're the Knicks, you want at your uh, at your spots. But other than that, like if they're both gone, I don't know if big is the way to go because there's going to be enough talent slipping to you if those two guys go ahead.